again, sorry for the quality of the video, but I just wanted to show you. Um, it's now Friday. It's in other words, it's seven days from when all this went down and you can now see the floor. So this was the laundry room and here's where the truck came crashing through the side of our house. Um, that's the upstairs bedroom that you now can look up and see. And again, not to beat a dead horse, but there's a piece of wall that is rammed in there. And as you can see, here are all the different floor joists that have been destroyed. And the worrisome news is going back here and seeing how much more uh, the structural damage there might be. It looks like the door frame took a lot of uh, hit. Of course, of course, it's destroyed. <laughs> the door and the frame. Here's our first real look at the water heater and the furnace unit. Um, they all have been moved. And of course, everything is broken. That is the connections for fresh air and venting, uh, the furnace and the uh, the water heater. But you, you can now see what that kind of looks like. And I suspect it'll have to be replaced. Here's a really good example of one of the reasons why we didn't have a flood. This is PEX plumbing. As you can see, it's plastic. Uh, but it's more than just plastic. It's rated to, I forget how much PSI this stuff can, can stand. But uh, this was the water lines that went over and then down into Julie's uh, washer over here. Which is in remarkably good shape. As is the laundry tub. Just, it is odd, the things that got destroyed, like look up here. Here's the foundation wall, which is going to be the first thing they're going to have to work on, getting it replaced. Um, and then here's this corner post, which is holding up the side of the house. And right now, that's just a 2 by 4 So that's going to have to be. And you can see the studding that basically got broken um, that was forming that corner post. Down here, buried way down here in all of this mess, um, that's a sump pump. And that'll have to, of course, all come out and be replaced. But you can see the floor. And you can see the refrigerator completely intact. One of the first things we did when we got in here last week is we took everything out of the freezer and everything that's in the refrigerator as you can see is mostly made up of um, beverages <laughs> so they appear to be in good shape no smelly smells and like i said this got emptied out those things that are there on the side those are those uh, cold packs that people use for coolers and things. And they're in good shape. They haven't split open or anything. I'm being hit by a piece of, uh, this is framing that, that held up the drop ceiling. Of course, it's all bent to heck and back. So anyway, that's the good news. The other good news is Outside, we have our electrician, our incredible electrician, has been very busy. We have a service panel back. We have a service panel, and we have a new connection box. So 
So now all I'm doing today is I'm waiting for LG and E to come back and certify this has all been done properly and to code and we will have power, not all power obviously, but we will have power back into certain parts of the house again. It began yesterday and it will continue. We will have our house back.